The University of Nebraska College of Nursing is a five campus system that is a 500 mile campus, meaning we have campuses from border to border across Nebraska serving the entire state. The College of Nursing is the largest of the health professions that we have at the University of Nebraska Medical Center. Our students come from a wide area of places, from the university system, state college system, community colleges. Many of our students are parents. Many of our students um, are health care providers for other family members. We are seeing a lot of stress in our students before they start nursing school. It is our responsibility to make sure that our students are as healthy as they can be, so then they can help others be as healthy as they can be. We have to start before they're burnt out in the workforce, starting at orientation. In 2022, the University of Nebraska Medical Center College of Nursing received a grant from the Health Resources and Services Administration, HRSA, to establish programs and increase their work to improve mental health and reduce burnout among their future and current nursing workforce. We've developed the whole program, Wellness How One Lives Effectively. We introduced the program for students before they even start nursing school. It's a program to help develop resilience, teach some stress management techniques. We just want to make sure that they have good tools that when something happens that they're able to work through it or to reach out and ask for help without thinking that it's going to get them in trouble. It's really important to, to show them that we realize this is going to be hard for you so we want to help you up front. Here's how we're going to help you and here's some things that you can do that will help you along the journey. We want to make sure that our students are able to leave here with the knowledge and the skills they need to be a successful nurse. Nursing 360 is our student success management platform that we were able to adopt in the spring of 2022 through our HRSA grant initiatives. In the past, we didn't have a platform where we could document case management and reach out to the students as quick as we can now. We knew a platform like this would bring everything together in an all-in-one system. The faculty can complete a referral form and it goes straight to the academic success coaches and they start working with the student on well-being, with resiliency, any type of student success issues. Sometimes students come in and they just want to be heard. We listened to the students and the students told us they wanted space. We've developed wellness and study spaces that students can use to manage their stress as well as build success in their academics. They wanted a whiteboard and they wanted certain markers. One of the students came up to me and they said, I didn't even know you were the ones who created this wellness space. You need to know how much that meant to me because it showed that people cared about us and they were invested in our future. I want to see students succeed. I want to see students go on to be successful healthcare workers and have careers of their own. We need to support them from the time they're being admitted into the program until the time they graduate and even beyond graduation. The HRSA grant is really focused on nursing students as well as practicing nurses across the state, targeting our critical access hospitals, so really our rural medically underserved areas across Nebraska. We've expanded to include uh, nursing in the rural areas to help them deal with the, the specific particular difficulties that being in the rural area uh, entails. A critical access hospital is a hospital that is located in a rural area and serves a rural population. Working in a critical access hospital has so many challenges. The resources are much less. The nurses are required to do many roles. The whole program and UNMC's program was very important to us being able to start to learn how to rebuild and grow. So if we're not taking care of ourselves, we cannot continue to take care of our patients. So now we have purified water that's at our nurses station. We now have a fridge with healthy snacks. We encourage each other to get out, to take a break, and we understand the importance of that. We already have healthcare disparities in rural settings, so we need to keep nurses in the game so that they can continue to take care of people for years to come. If we didn't have this grant and this funding, this sort of program we wouldn't have access to. 
How can we help individuals, help build their wellness, help build up their resiliency, help them get the care that they need if they need that. But the other parts are the systems level. What we need to work on is integrating individual and systems level solutions in the wellness sphere to really comprehensively put a picture together about how we can have a healthier workforce. Healthcare workforce well-being is what's best for everyone. It's best for the individual, it's best for systems, it impacts patients and patient safety, we need to continue to invest in it because it's the best choice for everyone.